hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can export your shape key from blender to character creator or any other software you like but today particularly i'm focusing on Ray illusion softwares like character creator and iClone. so now let's begin so yeah let's assume our character has not been rigged yet so if you want to rig your character we can use meta rig but here i have auto rig that can help me to rig my character faster so i'm going to use auto rig pro to rig this character and if you don't know how to use meta rig for a character i have a video link in the description below so now we can open the mouth the eyes move everything the hands after this i have an add-on link in the description it's also free so when you have the add-on when you download the add-on it will come to like this shape king gen for iclone and gadget creator for extract first so the first thing you have to do is extract and it will come if you open the folder we have these two files here so i'm going to copy the address as test and go to edit edit preference if you know you have my old add-on this animation to add-on here search for that one if you have the shape king gen add-on make sure you disable it first before installing this one so i'm going to install and here the first thing i have to do is click on shape king gen and nothing will happen click on install again and i'm going to install the animation to now it will come like the shape king gen for iclone 8 and so i'm going to click on this and now we can see we have this here animation to for iclone or character creator for if your character were rig with meta rig make sure you choose the meta rig if it rig with auto rig make sure you choose auto rig here we use the auto rig so i'm going to choose auto rig pro and the next thing you have to do is select your character rig and click on rename and after this click on transfer animation and hit ok now you can see when you hit play you can see there's animation ongoing here and on reseller you can see we have these all keyframes under here So now the next thing is we have to convert all this into shape key and this one i don't this that don't will help us to do it faster so the first thing you have to do is let's go to object mode and i'm going to select my character body and let's go here and you go to the shape keys you can see we don't have any shape keys over here when we try to give this character shape key the eyeballs and all this will not have that shape key so how can we add all of them together to have the, the same shape key so it's going to be simple we have to press a to select everything and i'm going to join them together so i'm going to press ctrl plus g to join all of them together after we give all them the shape keys we can just simply go to edit mode and we can select the one we just join and press p we can press p to separate them so we can also separate the eyelash and other so right now i want to join them all together and give them the shape keys before so let's go and give them the shape key so when you move on to your timeline like this you can see here the eyebrows raise up so you can go and save a shape key and now you can see it has names according to how the keyframe has been dropped so this is the brows raise inner l so you can see and i'll click on ok and the right one also raise so save us and I'll choose browse raise in an hour and hit OK. So make sure you do for all of them. So there's burn uh, outer. here is the tank out and tank up so we need to go to s3 so you can see how the tank is moving inside so this is the tank up and here the tank down 
so you can see that tank has moved down so tank down and hit ok so this math open save you just draw open so you want to save So after this, we have we have successfully assigned all the keyframes to the body. So when you select a character, you can see every keyframe here represents shape key and reset. So you can see from here, the shape key eye open, the eyebrows eyelid up, and it will reset on here. So that's how you can go into insert. Uh, you're going to going to give the shape keys now after this click on select your character rig and click on clean rigs and everything will back to normal now or you already don't have any animation so when you select your character body and you go to the shape keys here you can use the shape key volume to have all this so now left is how we can export it into character creator so to do so this is what you are going to do with the cutter body selected we already know we have joined everything together so i'm going to select the rig and i'm going to delete the rig because you don't need the rig again and when you go to modify i'm going to delete the amateur modifier from the cutter and i'm going to delete everything because i don't need the auto rig again if you rig a meta rig make sure you do the same because you don't need it again so I'm going to delete the metaric everything and this one I'm going to unlink okay so now it has left with only one mesh here if you wish to separate the other parts like the eyes um so let me go and select this base so if you want to separate any other parts like the eyes you can go here and use L to separate so but right now i want to leave it like this and let's let's go ahead and export this into character creator so to begin here press a select everything so let's go to export and fbs I'm going to have my new folder so i'm going to give it a name like gray so the settings i'm going to choose is i'm going to export only mesh because we already deleted all the rigs and everything and go to geometry here and make sure apply modifies has been unchecked and that's all and the next setting is path mode copy and embed texture so that other texture will be copied along so click on export fbs now in our character creator let's go to far import f and i'm going to import it can import fbs so i'm going to import the character i just export this character and human standard and apply now you can see our character has imported into our scene the next thing you're going to do is the character select if you have a cool rig has been installed or we can have this here a cool rig you can read the character inside character creator 4 so with the character selected i'll go to a cool rig and i'll click on hit guys okay and i'm going to click on ok so i'll go to view center camera view and front so i'm going to align this one perfect to match the character here in this one so i think this one is cool so the next thing i'll go and generate skeleton so let's hit ok now after it has been generated let's check the fingers if it has aligned well okay that's good so the next thing is you have to click on bind skin so now everything has been done let's go back and now let's go and give it animation and see if it is working so motion animating acting me so you can see it is working so let's hit play so now let it has left that how we can export and give the character the the shape key we just created in blender so if you don't have the face facial profile here go to windows and make sure this one has been checked 
and now you can see all this has been off we can control this because it is off because our character don't have any shape key so go to edit expressions and this will load all the expressions here you can see it is still off okay so how we can do is so what we can do is go to here and file and click on this so go to the folder you just exported your fbs the ray f file so click on it and then it will check if it has any shape key so now you can see all the shape keys we have in blender has been exported here so the next thing we have to do is replace all sliders with the name so click on that so if you see this okay has been off that you have to type any name to the side because not all the names here match the names of the sliders so click on okay after this when you click on this we can use the one to raise the eyebrows and you can see it is working as expected because of the way no work on the hair that's when this one is also moving along also the eye blink we do not work on it because we have to work perfectly if not we can go back to blender and do that one again it's like the blink like if you set the blink we can go to scoped mode when you go to scoped mode we can just um set this one and use G for grab I think this one is good we can go to the right eye and also make it good so after this we can just go and export it as FBS again with the same settings we choose make sure this one also has been on check and export it again and now we can go back again and let's load our fbs file so i'm going to load it again and now let's replace all so now let's go to the blink and now you can see the blink has been faced from here so if you have any shape key that is not good you can go to blender and face that and you can just import it again so there's the eyelid and here so here we see it has combined with motion capture and also the the it is using both motion capture and facial expression to control the the character you can see so here you can go to edit facial expressions and let's check can give it this happy and everything will work.